And we're going to look at Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. We're going to look at 10 through 13. Then we're going to jump down to 25. So you don't hang up on me through 28. Let us pray. Father, we love you. We thank you. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you glory, power, strength, and dominion. Yes, that is due unto your name. God, we pray that you would do it again. Hide me behind the cross. That your people would see none of staples, but all of the Savior. God, we pray that you would humble me at thy feet, that you might shake and mold this message how you would want it to go. And then, God, we pray that uh, you would heighten anointing, that we might be able to speak, to teach, and to preach by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, O oh God, that you've already let me uh, feel the anointing power of your spirit. Yeah, yeah. And God, we just pray that somehow or another somebody uh, would get it, that God, a wayfaring man, may not err, but have everlasting life. We love you and we give you the praise for it. In Jesus' name. Somebody out of heaven say amen. 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 Proverbs 31, 10, starting at the 10th verse. If you find it, say go ahead. It says, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Her price is far above rubies. You know, rubies is, is, is more uh, expensive than a diamond. Am I right? Amen. Her, her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good. Lord have mercy. I wish I had time. I wish I had a quarter. I'd put it in the meter. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands. Verse 25. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. 26. She opens her mouth in wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household and eats not the bread of idleness. 28. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he praises her. 30. Favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. While you're standing or sitting, whichever the case may be, I want you to look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Don't look at me. Look at your neighbor and say it to your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Y'all can do better than that. Say neighbor. neighbor. Or, neighbor. or neighbor. Her love, Her love is like a yo-yo. Like yo look at somebody else and say, uh, that's the wrong neighbor. They don't want to look back at you. Look at somebody else. Say neighbor. neighbor. Or, neighbor. or neighbor. Her love. Her love. The mother's love. The mother's love. It's like a yo-yo. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Uh, oh, oh, but mother can know you all about your stuff. You know, I had a mother that, that you know, I confessed my, at some point in my life, I, I had to confess to my mother and daddy. And, and you know, I'm, I'm about finished with my book. And, and if you read that book, if you get the book, uh, look at your name, tell your name to get the book. You know, my mother uh, told me at one point that she prayed so much for me that at one point she just got down on her knees, didn't have no more words and just tears would just meet under her cheek because she knew that I was messing up, but she loved me right on. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Every time she saw me, she grabbed me up and, and, and tell me and, and let me know that, boy, I love you and, and I want other people to love you too. And my daddy would say, boy, you need to straighten up and fly right. Y'all ain't saying nothing. What the scripture is saying, who can find a virtuous woman? It implies that uh, she's not really that easy to find. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This is why I, I took young ladies, uh, not, not too many, but a few before my mother. And, and, and that one that's sitting in the green jacket over there, I took her before my mother. And, and my mother is the only one, I mean, she is the only one that my mother put the stamp of approval on. All the rest of them, she said, nope. I take a number, she said, nope. I don't know. I said, well, what's wrong with her? I mean, looking good, too. <laughs> looking real good. At least I thought she was. My mother said, no, 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 no. And I took sand by her, she said, well, yeah. See, mother has something that, that, that men don't have. They have some kind of intuition, some kind of 
uh, something from God that God didn't put in me. That's the way I feel about it. You, you, that can be trusted to do the right thing, even in the midst of her children's mistakes. A virtuous woman, she will, she will love her children even though they make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Am I right about it? Sinners, Christians, we all make mistakes. And there's nobody in here that's perfect. How be it we are striving and trying to be perfect. And when the Bible says perfect, it does not mean that you make no mistakes. What it means is that you're growing, you're maturing in the Lord. Am I right about it? So, so she is someone uh, that her word is her bond. Uh, she calls it like a T.I.E. is. I can only thank God for mothers like the one in the text. Because uh, when I grew up, I knew a whole community of women that would put you in the right path. And if you didn't stay in the right path, they would put a little foot on you. And get you back on the right path. Am I right about it? And you better not talk back. Because when, if you talk back, you might get a backhand. Dead in the mouth. And you see, uh, I don't know about you, but I grew up in a time that you could get a whipping at somebody else's house. And by the time you got home, your mama already knew about it. And then when you got home, you're going to get another good whipping when you get there. And you better straighten yourself up because uh, everybody in the community knew my name. A mother knows. Look at your name and tell your name, honey. A mother knows. You know, they, they know and they, they are somebody that uh, their word is their bond. They, they, they are somebody that uh, you can count on when the trouble comes. Am I right about it? There's somebody you can count on when you done messed up so badly that don't nobody else care nothing about you. But, but she'll take you in and, and even daddy says, no, that, well, that joker got to go. She said, well, let's give him one more chance. Am I right? Yeah, she, she'll hang in there with you. She, she, she won't hang up on you. She'll just keep on loving you. And, and, and this mother, when, when everyone else is turning their back, a virtuous woman and a mother will love you to the bitter end. Her love is contagious. As other children also only wish, if they don't have a mother like that, they only wish that they had a mother like yours. Amen. As a matter of fact, if you have your mother here, that's a blessing. Amen. That is such a blessing. If your mother's still living. That's a blessing. I can only open up my phone and, and look at my mom. I looked at her all day yesterday. Every now and then I just break my phone out and look at her. <laughs> I love my mother. Amen. She was somebody that, that loved me to the bitter end. Even when I was not even lovable. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I wasn't lovable to nobody. Matter of fact, my wife was ready to leave. But she couldn't leave because the Holy Ghost wouldn't let her. And that's a blessing. But this mother's love is atypical of any other love that a child will ever know. As can't nobody love you on the earth like your mother. Is there anybody here that realizes that uh, you didn't make it this far by yourself? Is there anybody here that realizes that had it not been for the grace and the mercy of God that you could have been dead and in your grave? Is there anybody here that's ever been in the military and, and you didn't get shot down and killed in the military? But it was the grace and mercy of God. Is there anybody in here that's ever been, you don't have to answer the question, it's a rhetorical question, but if you've ever been in a gun battle and, and you didn't get shot and killed, it, it's nothing but the grace and the mercy of Almighty God. Is there anybody here that's ever been in a knife fight? And uh, you didn't get stabbed and killed, but, but the Lord kept you and, and, and he let you live to see one more day. Is there anybody here today that's ever been on drugs or alcohol? And the drugs and alcohol didn't take you so far down that you lost your life. Then you ought to be able to praise God because it was nothing but the favor of Almighty God. I'm so glad that I know what I'm talking about because the Lord been good to me. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise His holy and righteous name. I know that the favor of God is in this house because don't you know that Jesus 
Jesus is on the main line, and all you have to do is tell the Lord what you want. Is there anybody here today know that you got the favor of God all down on the inside of you? And when you walk about, you don't have to worry about what the people on your job are going to do to you. Because you got the fame of God all over you. And don't you know that I'm glad that the fame of God is not respect of a person. You don't have to worry about the things that you've done in the past. Because the Lord said I'm faithful and just to forgive you of all of your sin. I'm so glad that the Lord is my friend today. That's point number two. Is there anybody here today ever took a test and you didn't even know the answer? to the questions, but somehow or another God gave you the answer. I'm so glad that God can talk to you, and don't you know that I'm glad, because I know what I'm talking about. I wrote papers when I was in school, and I didn't even know uh, exactly all about the curriculum, but I thank God that when I sit down and I begin to write, I said, Lord, I need you right now. I need you to write the paper for me. And don't you know that I, the words came to me that I didn't even know what they meant. And I would go back, I would write it, I would type it into the computer. Then I would go back and look up the words that I put down. And I said, that applies to exactly what I'm trying to say. Then I'd stand back and I'd sit back in my chair. And I'd throw up both my hands and say, thank you, Jesus, for being my friend. Is the Lord your friend today? Has the Lord brought you from a mighty long way? Has God ever done anything for you at all? Is there anybody here today going to help me praise the Lord? The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want to. That's what David said. But I'd like to put a little twist on it myself. The Lord is my shepherd and he knows what I want. And I'm glad that the Lord knows my life. He knows my thoughts even before I think them. God knows my heart and when I'm about to whoop somebody, well, I'm so glad that the Holy Ghost comes in. Is there anybody here today know that you know that the Lord, he's just all right. Not only does he give you favor, and not only is he your friend, but don't you know that he'll make you faultless. That doesn't mean that you don't have some stuff on your record, but what that means is, the Lord said, when I died on that Roman cross, I took your record and I threw it over into the sea of forgetfulness, and I wiped your slate clean, and I'm so glad that there's therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Is there anybody here today know how to walk for the Lord? You got to know how to talk for the Lord. You got to know how, oh, you got to know how to stand for Jesus. Is there anybody here today going to stand up for the Lord? If you're going to stand up for Jesus, stand on your feet and say, thank you, Jesus. Throw both hands up and say, glory to the Father. Glory to the Son and glory to the Holy Ghost. I dare you to do it. God is good. He's great and greatly to be praised. Is there anybody here going to help me praise the Lord? If you're here to praise Him, why don't you say, yeah.